Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. Today I'm sitting in front of our new project, Oak Mount, that we just took possession of last week. And I've done a few videos on this property in the past, but I've always done a walk around from the exterior and talked a little bit about the project and getting it to this point now. But I've actually never been inside this property and showed you guys around. So I wanted to take you inside, show you the before of this property before we start demolition on Thursday and just kind of take you through and uh, and show you what we see here in, in terms of our vision of what this property is going to be. Before we get into the video today, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. And without further ado, let's get into it. Before I take you around and show you guys inside, I wanted to give you a bit of backstory on this property. We purchased this property back in June of this year and didn't close on it until end of October. And there was a very specific reason we wanted a long closing. One, we wanted to figure out our financing options and make sure that we had some different options because this is a bit of a unique property. The second reason was we wanted to start the permit application process through the City of Toronto. Uh, we wanted to uh, be able to do that instead of us having to pay for um, to carry the property while we're submitting applications and getting our architectural drawings together. We wanted the sellers to be able to have to carry the property during that time. So we, uh, we asked for a really long closing and basically had three and a half months from the time we put in an offer to the time that we closed and that allowed us to get our architectural drawings together submit the, submit them to the city and then ultimately uh, we're just about to get permits now after taking possession uh, the second reason was financing as I mentioned this is a unique property this property was split up into multiple units um, but it's never been really changed from a single-family dwelling from the legal perspective it's always been that from the city city's perspective. So we wanted to try to figure out our financing options because some of our mortgage brokers were saying that there was going to have to be a residential loan because it's a residential property. Uh, others were saying it needed to be a commercial loan because it was, you know, basically divided up into all these illegal units. In the end, we ended up going with residential financing, which is really good. Uh, we weren't able to get the loan to value up very high. Uh, we were only able to get 60% loan to value. So we had to put a 40% down payment on this property, but we secured residential financing. So we were able to do that at 1.75% on a variable rate. So while we're in construction, uh, that's really going to help us with the cost of the property moving forward. So I wanted to give you a bit of backstory before we actually start walking around and I show you inside. But let's get in there and let me show you what's happening inside of this property. So one of the reasons we really love this property is because of the curb appeal. As you can see, this house looks really great from the outside. And if you see what's beside it, we've got precedence in the neighborhood. We've got a huge apartment building beside us, uh, another one across the street, and another one right there. So this is a great neighborhood for density, and we're about um, 500 meters from one of the uh, subway stations. But let me show you inside and let me show you around. So this house was built in the late 1890s, we believe. Uh, and you'll see a lot of the original trim, like this uh, piece here. So we're gonna try to save as much as this as we can. But uh, you'll see how this was divided up. This, this was kind of chopped up into multiple units. So this whole wall right here was added and an extra doorway. So this area here led up to the second floor, third floor units. Uh, this was kind of like an entrance area. This room here was just, I have no idea what it was used for. But um, clearly there was a, a washer and dryer here at some point, um, and they've roughed a laundry tub in as well. Uh, all of this is going to be removed, and basically this entire project is being gutted right down to the studs, and we're going to start over again. So you can see this would have been the, the entrance for the main floor unit. It was a two-bedroom unit, basically. Um, this is pretty unique, this old um, woodworking and the old fireplace. Uh, it's kind of the, uh, the dungeonous room in this property. Uh, but this is basically all going to be uh, demolished and um, taken out. Now we are going to try to save some of this old woodwork and we're going to try to reuse it in the project somewhere. But it is uh, sometimes tricky to be able to do that. But if we can't reuse it, uh, we'll definitely pass it off to somebody who can and we'll try to resell it. This thing is really cool. It's an old pocket door. It's really large. I haven't seen one this, this big before. So we're gonna try to reuse that one. Um, if we can't reuse it, then we're definitely gonna sell it. Uh, but this is uh, some of the architectural detail that was in this home. So as we come down the hallway here, you'll see that um, this was another room of some sort. Not sure, maybe this was a bedroom as well. 
Uh, and you can see the old with the new. There's the old paneling on the wall. And then you can see this closet that was just kind of plopped in here when they started dividing it up into units. Uh, this is a nice bay window. Not sure if we're gonna be able to keep that or not based on the design. Um, but we are going to be reclaiming this, this wood paneling, uh, this wood trim, some of these wood doors, and we're gonna try to utilize it in the new design. As we come down the hallway here, you'll see that this is a bathroom that was installed at some point. It's not that old, um, but we are going to try to save some of this stuff. But ultimately, this is gonna be a complete gut job in here because um, there's really not much that we can save. But you can kind of see like up here, uh, this was just obviously patched in at some point. This bathroom was added. I think the old kitchen would have been here. And you can see that old trim work um, that uh, continues along into the shower and then drops into the wall here. So after the bathroom, you'll see that this stairwell was what I was talking about where they kind of just chopped this, this area up by adding this wall here. But um, this is the main floor kitchen. Um, that we will take out. Um, don't know that there's much that we can save here. It's a pretty dated kitchen. Um, we can probably sell the appliances. We may be able to save this fridge here, but everything else in this space is going to be coming out. Um, this was an addition at some point back here. Uh, it's a different level um, and we'll bring everything up to the same level when we do the new addition off of this addition. And as you can see here, this would have been an entrance to the basement at some point, but uh, they closed that off as well to separate the basement from the main floor. Um, and again, the all the new layouts on this floor will be completely different. So this is the other side of that staircase I showed you just a minute ago. Um, that's where the, the wall has sort of been added. But this staircase would have served uh, the full property back in the day, but uh, it's now serving the second floor and third floor units. Um, second floor was divided up, I think we think into two units at some point, uh, but basically now this is uh, the one unit here. There's the, uh, the fireplace on the wall. Uh, there was some sort of kitchenette unit here. It's crazy how people chop things up, but this was the shower on this side. And then once you came out of the shower, you went over here and uh, where you had to brush your teeth <laughs> and use the toilet. So, um, you know, when people chop up properties illegally and whatever way they can, they just figure out a way uh, to do it, to, to make it viable. But, um, you know, we do things a little bit differently and we'll definitely be uh, changing the layouts on all these units and they'll be very functional. So that was the one unit there. Here's the other unit here. Uh, as you enter through the door, you'll see the bathroom. Love the old uh, black tile. And uh, this is a relatively new vanity. We'll try to save that, maybe sell it. Uh, but everything else in this bathroom will be a complete gut job. There's all these old radiators in the house and we're gonna try to sell those. We are using radiant heat, but we're gonna be using radiant in-floor heat in this property. So uh, we won't be able to save any of the old rads. Here's another bedroom on this uh, second, I guess, second floor unit. And then you'll see back here, we've got uh, the kitchen. So kitchen, uh, not, not in bad shape here. We'll try to resell this kitchen. Um, Ikea cabinets and a, and a quartz countertop. So not a bad little kitchen that hopefully can make its way into somebody's uh, rental property and they can use it for a little while. So that's the second floor. Let me take you upstairs and show you the third. So we're back to the main floor hallway and going up to the third floor. Third floor is a, kind of a half story. And um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a nice big open space. Lots of natural light, but um, not, not the greatest for sure. So there was an old fireplace there. Uh, this was the kitchen here. Some uh, Ikea cabinets again. Again, just kind of makeshift kitchens and bathrooms everywhere. So not a great flow, not a great layout. This would have been, I guess, a bonus room or something, or maybe yeah, actually this would have been the bedroom maybe. And then of course you've got the deck off the back. The thing that I love about this property, it's got a huge lot, um, 42 by 198, a 200 foot lot. You don't see that very often in Toronto anymore. So that's why we really love this property and the possibilities here. And I'll show you this bathroom up here. 
which is, uh, you know, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad. And there's the shower. All of this is coming out. So this is the entrance to the basement. Um, the basement actually was separate from the rest of the house and was divided up into what we believe at some point was three units, uh, if you can imagine. So this was one unit. Um, the camera actually makes it look maybe a little bit bigger than it actually is. You'll see the bathroom here. Um, so this was like a 250 square foot apartment in here, something like that. Um, yeah, uh, again, not really our clientele. You'll see this straight across the hallway was another unit. So this was a unit. So this was one unit. Um, again, not really our typical setup and the way we do things. Uh, a little bathroom here. Um, but, you know, I guess in its day, somebody might have been okay to pay lower rent and be in here and just uh, with, a, with a nice location. And if you walk down the hallway here, you'll see this was another unit, um, one bedroom off here to the left with some sweet faux brick and uh, what looks like it used to be a, a chimney. And then you've got the bathroom here. Uh, we already removed the, uh, the toilet from there, um, but a pretty standard crappy bathroom. <laughs> And then you've got your open space here, um, kitchen, and a random spot for the fridge. And as I showed you earlier, this is the living area, and this was the area that was closed off from upstairs um, to be able to separate this unit from, from the other units in the house. Before I take you outside, I almost forgot I wanted to show you the utility room, which was tucked back in here. Um, there was one hot water tank serving this whole space, one boiler, um, a couple of electrical panels, um, nothing on a separate meter. So just all one meter, but there's the second electrical panel and then, uh, two washers and dryers here. Um, so everyone would have obviously come down and use the laundry room down here. We will, um, we will actually put in sweet laundry in every single unit. But I wanted to show you this, uh, this utility room, which was serving the whole house. Here's the garage. And let me show you all the way to the back of the property here, because this is the really unique part about this property was the fact that this lot was 200 feet deep. So as you can see, <laughs> a nice little area here, sitting area. This will all be removed. This is an old swimming pool. Um, but a huge lot. So the way that we're setting things up is um, this area back here is going to be maintained as um, green space for the tenants. Uh, the garage, unfortunately, will have to come down and this will become parking back here. We're going to have seven car parking. So to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing with this property, we're essentially taking the property, we're extending it from the foundation out. So we're going to be extending the foundation and then we're going to be going straight up three full stories. The third story right now, as you can kind of see behind me, that's pretty much all coming off. Uh, we're taking the entire roof off and we're building up an entire third story. Uh, so the, the building will be pretty boxy at the back, but at the front, we're going to be keeping the architectural detail of the property and each floor will be two units. So the basement will be two main floor, second floor, and third floor. So there'll be eight units in this property. Each unit will be about 700 square feet. We're gonna be doing two bedroom, one bathroom units, um, entirely new systems throughout, all new plumbing, electrical, everything separately metered. Um, and essentially we'll be building this building as a small boutique apartment building, which we're so excited about based on this neighborhood that we're in, in High Park, real close to Keel Station and to High Park Station. So I'm so excited for you guys to follow along the journey of this property. I can't wait to get going. We're starting demolition this week. If you guys enjoyed the walk around of the property, hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and please feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. 
shoot some questions in the comments section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the existing building now, um, what you think about our plan moving forward. As always, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or check out my website at darrenvoros.com. With that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon. Thank you.